Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I have a big haul for you today. I'm excited to share with you the new food finds, some really great deals I found as well. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That's how I've lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk to me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things, and we'd love to have you come and join our Facebook group. That is also linked in the description box. So let's head on to the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So here is this week's big haul from my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. I have some new food finds for you, some really, really good deals. So let's jump in. You know, I always stop by the meat section to see if they have any deals. And I scored this week on some really good ground beef deals. So this is an 85.15. Typically I rinse it if it's a fatty cut of meat and I just count it as a lean cut. But I also like to make Troy Sloppy Joe's pretty regularly. So I'll use the fattier cuts of ground beef for him. But this whole pound is $3.83. And then we have the Simple Truth Organic Pounds on clearance for $4.05. So I either cook it up right away or throw it in the freezer. Troy was talking about as the weather is cooling down for Arizona, cooling down like in the 80s and 90s, he wanted to go back outside and grill. And I bought these burgers before. They're really good. So it's a blend of chuck and brisket. They're very tender, very, very juicy. And they were $5.50, which is a really, really good deal. I want to say they're normally 10. And Troy really likes these. I typically make myself a 93.7 or 96.4 burger, but he loves these. And it's a pack of four. And then I needed some stew meat for a recipe and this was $15 which I thought wasn't a bad deal at all I could have cut it out myself but I can't be bothered this is much easier it's already ready to go for that recipe I had a dollar off coupon for good culture that Kroger stores always send you out coupons every month which I love I actually had a $10 off my grocery order lots of other coupons so I picked up my favorite cottage cheese which is good culture and then I grabbed this core power shake this is the strawberry banana I've never tried this one and I'm actually going on a trip on the 14th so in just a little over a week and I'm going to take this with me it's just a good way to get in protein I always bring my protein shakes with me to have my protein coffee in the morning and then I think I'm going to throw that one in especially because it doesn't have to be refrigerated and then I did pick this up for a little bit later this morning I haven't tried this one the Chobani zero sugar milk and cookies drink it is 50 calories 10 grams of protein so that's amazing I love the yogurt itself so I'm excited to try out the drink today and then this was a really good deal this is the Tuscany brand these were a dollar 74 I thought that was a really good deal for the wax melts so I bought one of all of the fall scents, of course. So I have pumpkin brittle, spiced citrus, pumpkin donut, that sounds amazing, pumpkin spice, autumn nights, lemon pumpkin. This one I thought would be really good in the kitchen and then fall festival. And for $1.74 a piece, killer deal. And then I grabbed this candle for my office. This smells so good. This is from the Candlelight brand and this is the Creepin' It real. I don't even see anywhere on it where it says what the notes are, but it's kind of a caramel apple scent with like a little bit of spice. Really good. And these are on sale right now for $6.99. In fact, all of the fall and Halloween decor at Kroger stores are 30% off. I ate one of these when I was out running my errands this morning. You guys know this is one of my favorite protein bars, the Fulfill brand. This is the chocolate peanut caramel. This one's my favorite. I have to figure out a place that I can buy these in bulk rather than single because I love them. And I'm going to save this one to take with me on my trip along with my core power shake. And then I grabbed elbow macaroni. I'm making Troy's favorite pasta salad. If you want the recipe, it is on my website under Troy's pasta salad. I will warn you, it is not calorie WW friendly. Now, of course you can modify it any way that you want, but I am going to make that for him this week. So I needed elbow macaroni. And then I did need some beef broth for a recipe. The sliced olives are for his salad. I am blown away at the price. This was $4.79 for a can of sliced olives. Now I think the whole olives were a dollar less and I could have sliced them myself, but again, 
We're, we're working with convenience here, so I went ahead and picked that up for his salad. I did grab some barley because I'm going to be making a soup this week, and I really want to start incorporating more barley. It's a great pasta substitute, and it's a really, really good source of fiber. And then I needed tomato paste for a couple of different recipes, and I like the tube because I don't have to open a can and throw it away. I know that you can freeze it. I know that there's ways to preserve it. I don't ever do that. I just end up throwing it away so the tube actually works really well for me. I did pick up one vanilla Oikos triple zero. This is actually for a recipe. I have been on the hunt for the pumpkin yogurt and I can't find it anywhere. I've checked out Kroger, Walmart, Sprouts, Target, and nothing. So. I opted for vanilla for the recipe since I can't find the pumpkin. And then I also picked up some organic Simple Truth sour cream. We are out of sour cream and it's something we just always have on hand. I did grab some cinnamon rolls in the reduced section of the bakery. These were $2.50. They just looked really good. You guys know I like to have a sweet treat for us, just something that we can eat throughout the week. And I'll tell you that these sugar cookies that I bought two weeks ago, we still have them. So we don't even always eat everything that I pick up in the span of a week. Powdered sugar because I was completely out and I definitely want to do some fall recipes, maybe some Halloween recipes, and then of course, all of the Thanksgiving and holiday recipes, so I stocked up my powdered sugar. I needed diced up ham for Troy's pasta salad, and this is a new find. Now, I didn't know how much any of this private selection, limited edition, harvest apple products were. There was, there was no signs. This was $6.50. If I would have known it was $6.50, I wouldn't have bought it. However, it's going to come in handy for my trip. I'm going to take it just to have a healthy, kind of sweet, salty snack on hand. This has cinnamon pecans, candied apple flavored almonds, Arcona almonds, dried cherries, and apples. So I'm excited for this. It actually looks really, really good. And again, it'll be good to take with me on my trip. Hopefully it goes on sale. They actually had an entire display of all their harvest apple stuff. They had our harvest apple pretzels. I almost picked those up, but I'll show you what other thing I did pick up from this whole apple line. Another one of these rustic flatbreads. This one was this one is Italian herb. This was in the redo section for $1.68. I will tell you, Troy and I made pizza on the other one that I bought and it was incredibly delicious. So I picked up another one. I'm just going to throw it in my freezer and the next time that we want a pizza night, I'll make it on this flatbread. Highly, highly recommend. And then a big block of Colby Jack cheese. This is for Troy's pasta salad. I needed cream cheese for a recipe and I did have a coupon for a free cream cheese of the Philadelphia brand. So I grabbed the one third less fat. And then these were on clearance for 75 cents. This is from Simple Truth Organic and this is the turkey gravy. I did pick up two because I do like these on my KFC bowls and also Thanksgiving's coming up. So they don't expire for a, about a year. So I'm going to just throw those into my pantry. I also picked up some saltines because we love to have these with soup. I also love saltines and peanut butter. It's one of my favorite little snacks. Also saltines are incredibly expensive. The name brand one was almost $5. So I bought these instead, they were less than $2. I also needed some buttermilk for a recipe and then I did pick up two gallons of 1% milk for Troy. Now this is the other thing I picked up from the private selection apple harvest. This is the spiced apple crisp granola. Now this was $4.99, I think that's reasonable. I think that's reasonable for granola. It has 18 grams of whole grains. It does have a couple grams of protein, couple grams of fiber. You guys know I love topping my yogurt bowls with granola and I thought tis the season for apple. So I did pick that up again. I don't think that was a bad price. However, I do think that for this bag of mix was pretty expensive. So definitely check that display out at your local Kroger store. Lots of other cheese. I did grab some light shredded Mexican blend for a recipe. And then I've been just raving about this thick cut cheese. I love this. I love this on my eggs. I just really like this over the more thin cut cheese. And this is full fat, which I also like better. I feel like I use less of this for the same cheesiness. So I actually end up probably using the same amount of calories as I would for light cheese for regular cheese. So I grabbed the chef's blend, which is sharp cheddar, Gouda, and Asiago. And then I also grabbed the Sargento four state cheddar, which is four different cheddars. Both Troy and I really like these and we are completely out of shredded cheese. And then lots of produce for that whole food healthy diet. These mandarins were $2.77. That's a killer deal. I have been out of my little mini cucumbers for a while, so I picked those up. I still have some of that roasted red pepper hummus from Whole Foods, so I thought that I could dip the cucumbers in the hummus. It's actually really good. And then I had a coupon for a dollar off two packages of berries, so I did pick up two of the blackberries. These are actually two for five, so they ended up being two for four for me. Baby carrots so that I can make 
a pot roast in my crock pot. I bought those couple of pot roasts at Sprouts last week. They've been in my freezer and I thought that would be really good for me to make before I head out of town so that Troy has that to eat while I'm gone. So I picked up baby carrot. Pro tip, use these in your pot roast rather than cutting up carrots. It's so much easier. Of course, peaches because we love peaches in this family. A red onion and two sweet onions for recipes. We also prefer red onion on burgers, salads, that type of thing. We are much bigger red onion fans than regular onion. And then I did grab three Honeycrisp apples. These were on sale and I have been on an apple American Dream Nut Butter kick. I just melted a little bit and drizzled over the top. Amazing. Such a good snack. Protein, fat, healthy carb, fiber, really, really good. And of course, apples are in season right now. And then I was going to buy whole carrots and then I thought, oh no, let me buy these instead. <laughs> these are the carrot sticks. They're already cut up, ready to go. Again, I thought I could dip that into hummus. For eating, I prefer whole carrots over baby carrots. I just think they taste better, but instead of having to peel them and cut them up, you can buy them pre-cut. So I have that for a recipe and for hummus. Radishes for Troy's pasta salad. Little baby potatoes, this is for the pot roast. Again, pro tip, use these. You don't have to cut up potatoes. They cook perfectly and they hold their shape, which I find when I cut up potatoes, the skin falls off. So this is a better option for a slow cooker recipe. Celery for Troy's pasta salad, and then I need celery for my meal prep, and then green onions for his pasta salad as well. And a cute little Lola. A cute little baby Lola. Yes, a pretty girl. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. I ended up saving about $40 with my coupon, so that's always a win. Got some great meat deals. Let's go ahead and jump into what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. Today's Saturday, we are going out for dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, Troy requested spaghetti. Monday, I'm going to make a sweet potato shepherd's pie. So stay tuned, you guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's what I eat in a day. We're going to do leftovers on Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm making beef barley soup. I am in I am on a soup kick and I'm really excited for beef barley soup. Thursday and Friday are both leftover nights to finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm really excited for this week's prep. For breakfast, we're going to do wheat, oat, and pumpkin pancakes. I love pumpkin anything, as you know, and tis the season. For lunch, we're going to make a chili mac and cheese. I've been craving mac and cheese, but I want to make sure that I get some fiber and protein in there. So I'm excited for that. And then for a snack slash dessert, we're doing pumpkin cake with cream cheese frosting. Yes, please. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. I hope you enjoyed this week's haul. I got some really good deals, found some new food finds. I can't wait to see all the fun seasonal things coming out. Definitely stay tuned in the grocery hauls. I'll be sharing all the good stuff I pick up. And if you enjoyed today's video, a thumbs it up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss any of my uploads. Don't forget to check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.